UAE to issue crypto licenses in a bid to become an industry hub. I think they might have just had a uh, some sort of crypto thing because wasn't Gary Vaynerchuk there? Was he? I don't know. I feel like he was giving an interview. Did you see that interview where it was somebody from like... Like CNBC or something? Yeah, like and that she woman? was giggling and like laughing at him. Yeah, Did, and a, just talking in front of like... Obviously it was like a... Was it a webcam chat? Like a Zoom call or something? Yeah, him? exactly. And it was just like interrupting him and like you know that there's going to be delays, you know? Maybe she's not seasoned in interviewing. You sound pissed Crazy. off, Will. <laughs> I just think he didn't get a good shot <laughs> at explaining himself. No, it was uh, it was very bizarre. And I don't know if it came from a discomfort, right? Mm. I'm not sure if um, the comfort level was lacking to begin with, that, that maybe that individual didn't want to conduct that interview, or maybe there was something else funny going on in the studio at the time or something. But it, it did seem very... Immature, unprofessional. unprofessional. I, I don't know. Like it, you, you, and you ask the guy to come on, and then you're giggling the whole time. <laughs> okay, maybe it is kind of funny. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's man. what I do here. I don't know. It could have been somebody <laughs> behind the scenes that was just uh, goofing around, or you, you see bloopers from news shows all the time. Because anything could get monotonous, and all of a sudden, you're you're cracking jokes with your pals. But mm -hmm. either way, I think he handled it pretty well. I don't know if you saw the clip, but. He remained composed, and he and he was like, she was kind of trying to imply that crypto types are nasty types, and and that it's the worst of mankind that's involved in NFTs. And he was like, well, it kind of happens everywhere. I feel like I need to look for it because no, no, I no, might get good. in you're, trouble you're, with the CNBC. It might not be them. You're good. Well, people know what you're talking about. Some <laughs> only got one shot, or else I'm canceled. Remember? <laughs> no, <laughs> All right. Yeah. No, no, no. It doesn't. You can't be anymore. Yeah, didn't you hear the new <laughs> cancel culture is canceled? Can't we, can't, I didn't say it. I don't know who said it, but can't, you can't cancel anymore. Canceling is canceled. Oh, okay. We just did it today. We canceled canceling. <laughs> so now let the people actually hear it, Will. Let's oh, see here okay. how pissed off you really are. That's what we want to know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Time to demonetize. The Middle Eastern country is gearing up to become a global crypto hub. It makes sense because... Uh, the uh, UAE obviously shifted focus a while ago away from uh, oil and gas and towards tourism. And and you think about tourism and you're like, okay, what can you do with that? Well, now you can have conventions and now mm -hmm. you can now you can be a focal point for the different groups in emerging industries to meet up in one place. Right. It's uh, you think about the tech convention. Where does it happen? Las Vegas. What's in Las Vegas? A bunch of hotels, a bunch of tourism. So you think of crypto in the same light mm. that crypto is some next technology. It needs a place it can go every year right? where people can interact with one another. There's so many emerging uh, companies and projects. It's a lot of money in Dubai. And you've already got money there and investors and things that so they can get early dibs and, mm -hmm. and uh, be involved in these conversations. And I suppose if you think about it geographically, it's kind of the halfway point between Asia and the States. Yeah, or even Europe, right? Yeah. Like it's a, it kind of a it's a bit of a trip from this side of the world, but uh, yeah, geographically, I think it's in a pretty decent strategic location because yeah. crypto is blowing up in Asia as well. So uh, well, let's see what it says. Uh, scroll down a little bit here. The United Arab Emirates is preparing to issue federal licenses for virtual asset service providers by the end of the quarter in a bid to attract crypto companies to the country. They want the whole company to come. Never mind a convention. Securities and Commodities Authority is in the final stage of setting up a framework. That's another thing. They can move quickly mm. uh, because the uh, uh, political system is a little different over there. Having considered the approaches to the U.S., U.K., and Singapore, the UAE would take a hybrid approach. The SCA and Central Bank will be responsible for regulation with regional financial centers determining their day-to-day -day procedures on licenses, according to Bloomberg. The government also wants to create a favorable environment for crypto mining, which is interesting because mm. it's very hot over there. Mm. Underwater. Nice. Atlantis. <laughs> yeah. Crypto. The, the mega crypto rig city <laughs> underwater. Because they could. The new Atlantis. Uh, Abu Dhabi's International Financial Center, a finance hub and free trade zone, issued the first crypto exchange license to Matrix in May 2020. In 2021, three exchanges headquartered at the center were fully operational, while another three were in the process of launching. So I don't know if it, yeah, I guess it's Dubai and Abu Dhabi. They're both going to play a role here mm. you want to run an ad take well, a break what was that? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Remember, this is the important part, right? I need you guys to pay full attention uh, to what you're about to see. This, these, mess- these very important messages. We'll be right back. We got a lot to talk about. 